guys, I'm Marla, and today I'm gonna be filming a hairstyles video. I think having cute hair is important. And that's a lie because I never do my hair. Anyone can cook. Anyone can do hair. It's a ride of two weeks, except it's better. Uh. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do some quick and easy hairstyles for school. I already started school, so yeah, school season. Also, this video is sponsored by Bumble and Bubble. Let's get started. Okay, first off, I'm gonna start off with the prep of the hair. I always do this in my hairstyles video. And something that's really important for me when I'm doing my hairstyles, especially braids, is texture and volume. And so normally to achieve that like texture and volume, I curl or I crimp my hair, which does require heat, at least like the way I do it. And heat's not very good for hair, especially bleached hair like mine. So I think using texture sprays and products that will help thicken and voluminize your hair is really important. And Bumble and Bubble, as you guys covered, they have have the perfect thickening products. I literally love this stuff so much and it smells really good too. The next few clips is me showing you guys how I used my thickening products from Bumble and Bumble and, and how I prepped my hair for these hairstyles. So now that my hair is prepped, it's been blow dried. It feels super thick. I used to have super thick hair before I bleached my hair, but I've bleached my hair a lot of times. So it has definitely thinned out the past few times when I've bleached it. It's like medium thickness. It's nothing crazy. But when I use these thickening products, my hair has a lot more like, it feels like grit. Like it feels very voluminous and texturized. It's crazy. I don't know how they do it, but it works really well. So yeah, let's get started with this first hairstyle. <laughs> and then if you want, you can use some hair... Hair accessories. And you guys can also use some hair accessories. I'm using a lot of like these type of clips today. Okay, this first hairstyle is a side fishtail thingamajigger. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my, my Bumble and Bumble Thickening Dry Spun Texture Spray. And this creates instant volume and holds airy texture all day. Since I did wash my hair this morning, it's kind of, it's like cleaner and there's not as much grit on the hair. But since I use the thickening products, it adds it back. But texture spray gives your hair a good like grit. So when you braid your hair, the braid stays in place. Okay, now my hair has ugh, I just inhaled that now my hair is texturized I'm gonna part it right above my right eyebrow So right here and I'm gonna do a deeper part very edgy You could use bobby pins if you guys want to but to make it a little bit more decorative and accessorized I'm gonna be using these gigantic clips. They just look like this. They're gold and I've chewed them I think they're really cute, but if you have super long hair, you might not even need to do this step I'm gonna go in right next to it now, if you want to be a super edgy teen. Now that my hair is all pushed to this side, of, I look so crazy. I'm going to go ahead and start right here at the top and grab a small section. And I'm going to divide it into two. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tighten it right here. And then I'm going to take just a little bit of texture spray and I'm going to spray this over the fishtail. That way when I pancake it, there's a lot more grit and i'm just gonna go in and pancake it i want it to be super messy very bohemian and stuff like that and i just tug on them i actually did this hairstyle literally like the year i started youtube and i posted a photo of it on instagram basically now showing you guys like three years later how to do it this reminds me of katniss from the hunger games so just play with it make it look good i feel like this looks like a braid and it's because i could i don't know what i was doing wrong but i just couldn't get it to look like a fishtail so we're you know what we're gonna call this a braid jokes on you guys it's not a fishtail so i'm gonna pull out some pieces to frame my face. I mean, what do you guys expect? I always do that. And I'm gonna loosen up this side of my hair just a little bit. Pull out some pieces right here. And then we're not even done. I'm gonna go ahead and add in this beautiful looking scrunchie. And it's a scrunchie, but it's like velvet and it has a little bow. And I'm gonna add this onto the end just for a little extra something something. Ew, I'm not, why did I say something something? Okay, compliment worthy braid and hairstyle. and. I think this one is super cute. It's very fancy. So if you like have a dress up day at school or something, this would be perfect. For this next hairstyle, I'm obviously, I mean, I already have some texture spray in, but I'm gonna add a little bit more, a little something, something. And this hairstyle would be super cute if your hair was curled or something of the sort, but today we're leaving it straight, nice and straight. And I'm parting it down the middle or wherever you guys normally part your hair. I do feel like this hairstyle looks best parted down the middle, but if you don't like the way that looks on you, then you can do something else. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a section of hair about right here in the middle of my head. 
I'm going to use this for the entire hairstyle. So grab a pretty good amount, but you're just gonna take a rubber band and you're going to go down fourth of the way. You're gonna rubber band it. And you're gonna tighten it a little and then you're gonna go down and repeat the same step. You're going to take a rubber band and give it yourself like about an inch and a half of space between the rubber bands. And then once again, rubber band it. And then you're just gonna go down and repeat the steps on both sides of your head. So this is what it's going to look like when you're done with this step. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side of my head. I'm gonna go ahead and take some texture spray and I'm going to spray this on each section. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to bubble fly the braid by pancaking this section. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it into a low ponytail. And so it just makes it like a very cool little ponytail and it looks great. Then I'm gonna take this scrunchie. Look how beautiful it is. It's like very long and white and I'm just going to rubber band my hair. So this is basically a very intricate version of a little ponytail. I feel like this kind of almost looks like a wedding hairstyle because of the scrunchie, but it's not, it's good. Okay, last hairstyle, let's do this. I don't even wanna to touch my hair because it looks super straight right now. <laughs> First, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the headband. That way I know where it's gonna lay on my head. So about right there. And then I'm going to take my hair and I'm gonna divide it into two. And the difference between a regular twist and a rope twist is a rope twist stays in place. So make sure they're even sections. So I'm twisting both sections of hair towards my face. So to the right, but then I'm crossing them over to the left. Doing this basically makes it so your hair stays in place. And then once I'm done with this, I'm gonna go and rubber band it. This one's probably the quickest and easiest hairstyle to do. So and I'm using my viewfinder, which is up here as a mirror. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pancake this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my headband and I'm gonna put this right smack in the middle of them. I feel like this kind of, this headband almost looks like a crown, which is kind of funny. That's it for this hairstyle, so. So that wraps up today's hairstyle video. If you guys recreate any of these or you, or if you guys wear it to school, then take a picture and tag me at Marla Catherine on my Twitter or Instagram or wherever you guys feel comfortable with. And yeah, I think that's it. Oh, subscribe duh, and like it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.